Uriah Zimmerman, Blair's business partner, built a personal residence immediately across the street from Blair on the south side of Olive, also in 1887. Single story house with a large attic space, highly ornamental. And it was that house that John Isaac Wesley Fisher bought and moved to Shamrock and Royal Oaks. He probably bought it, I'm guessing about 1924, 25. And again, that area was going commercial rather than residential. So the house is probably being offered to clear that lot for commercial development. And that house still stands? It still stands. And a renovation, maybe 20, 25 years ago, did a restoration on some of the exterior gingerbread that had just simply weathered over time and needed to be renovated again. Nice, interesting house. A dormer window, very ornate dormer window on the second floor that matches the dormers that were on the Armstrong House on North Myrtle Avenue. Not the original residence of Mrs. Armstrong, Sarah Spence Armstrong and her husband, but their second residence, torn down in the early 50s to expand the Presbyterian Church campus. But again, small cottage, but nice ornamentation on the exterior. And it had these two, had four dormer windows on the second floor. Nice, you know, very highly ornamented. And I don't know that any pictures exist of those dormers, but from what I, re I remember, they match the one that's on the Zimmerman house on South Shamrock. So maybe Blair, or maybe Zimmerman, built those two, the two cottages that resembled each other on North Myrtle. I don't know. Nothing in the newspaper to indicate that. He was the owner or the actual builder? Zimmerman was the builder, the building contractor. So I'm reasonably sure he built his own private residence, but he must have done other building in Monrovia, because as I say, the house, two cottages on North Myrtle, had those two dormer windows that very much resembled the still extant one in the house on South Shamrock.